All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, my regular viewers, listeners, and watchers. And of course, if you happen to be here for the very first time, welcome. Before I go any further, my name is Rahul George, India's premier self-hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So today's pod is uh, inspired by uh, the current challenge that I'm working my way through. Uh, as you might, some of you might already know, I'm running this challenge called the 100 Days 100 Push-Ups Challenge. Right? So as the name suggests, the intent and the intention is to do 100 push-ups every single day. Uh, of course, the best case scenario, and some of you may already be doing that, which is doing 100 push-ups every single day. And uh, in fact, I was just talking to my sister-in-law and uh, the I hadn't actually you know, done the math. I had you know, reached the 100 into 100, but I hadn't actually worked out the actual number of push-ups that will, that will amount to at the end of the 100th day. Uh, which, as you might have guessed, is 10,000. So, um, you know, one, of course, in, in today's pod, what I want to remind you is that when you lean into inspiration, when you lean into your own process of being still, of being present, uh, you will quite often surprise yourself with the ideas that come up. So some of you may or may not know this, but this idea of doing 100 push-ups every single day uh, came to me in my uh, self-hypnosis uh, trance, my self-hypnosis meditation, and um, I just went with it. So it was, I think, four nights ago at the time of this recording, um, this idea popped into my head. So that night, I, I remember doing one set of 10. And then, of course, the next morning, I did a couple of sets of 10. By the end of day one, I had reached uh, 80. And then uh, yesterday, I had reached 40. Today, I think I reached 30 or 40. One thing I'll tell you, and this is how I look at it, um, it's the intent that is most important. Right? Um, I know in my mind the target is 100. And there are, of course, you know, times in the day when I find it, you know, I find myself trying to talk myself out of it. And sure, there will be some days where you are successful at doing that. And yet there will be some days where it becomes easier. And um, today was one of those days where I kind of, I think I got between either I did 30 or 40. Now, as you can tell, I'm not a stickler for, you know, it has to be, you know, um, 100, 100 push-ups every single day. Otherwise, it's a reset. Some people do that. That's not how I'm looking at it. My intention is very simple. This is, uh, of course, meant to be fun as well. This is meant to be something that you can share, meant to be something that you can experience yourself. And when you do this, um, you will start to discover something new. And that was, I, 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 I definitely say that that was the biggest aha uh, from doing the third day of this 100 push-ups, um, 100 days challenge. What I started to recognize was that you know, being active, being physically active felt good. And as I was doing the push-ups, I think it was maybe the set, the third set or the fourth set, where I started to realize that this is starting to become like another meditation for me. So if you ever tried cycling or swimming, you'll notice that the repetitive nature of the task can actually tune out the noise and, um, you know, give you that moment of silence or that moment of contemplation. And um, while, you know, sitting in one place, sitting still in one place, these are forms of meditation. Even movement has its own uh, form of meditation. So this was, in fact, what, what inspired today's topic. Like you might have already guessed it. You know, we're talking about the compounding power of habits. Yesterday, of course, we talked about stacking habits. So when you do one habit, you link another habit to it. So it becomes easier to not only complete one, but complete the other. Uh, today, I want to remind you that you know, if you make it, uh, if you make it um, a habit, which means you intend to do it every day, over a period of time, you will start to get additional benefits that, you know, um, like five days ago or 
three months ago, you could never have imagined getting these additional benefits. So this is, uh, you know, me again, as we are moving into the new year, I realized that I feel that these pods um, are meant to be crisper, meant to be shorter. Uh, as you might have, if you've, you know, gone through the entire catalog, you'll realize that some of the earlier pods used to be much longer because it felt that was what, you know, what I needed to share with you. At this point, this is me just reminding you that even if it is a short, you know, five to seven minute pod, it's designed to help you, um, you know, get clarity and to remind you that you're not alone, right? especially as a digital coach. Doing this kind of work is very, very hard at times. Uh, in fact, you know, clients will ask you, it's like, how do you have uh, so much patience? Right? How do you, how do you make room for uh, me and all that I'm going through? Right? So just remember, if you are that uh, coach, that healer who is feeling stuck, I want to tell you that you're not alone. Right? That's why I'm here. That's why I make these pods. And, you know, if you ever feel that, you know, now is the time to reach out, do it, right? That's why I'm literally saying, reach out and talk to me. Tell me, you know, how is it that I can help you? And last but not least, of course, remember to live with purpose. So I look forward to seeing you in the next pod. And yeah, if you are already following along on this uh, challenge, do, do your, um, whether it's on video, whether it's, uh, you know, pictures, you know, take your uh, photographs and videos and document it, share it because other people will also be inspired to shake off whatever was holding them behind. So look forward to seeing you in the next one. God bless and take care. Have a wonderful day ahead and uh, even a year ahead. All right. So take care.